what's going on guys look season is coming and it's coming quick you can't tell i just got in the truck uh we're going to give an estimate here and man i want to tell you we got rain coming in for the next three three days something like that excuse all the bumps it's the bumpiest road in the world and then it's it's 40 degrees i mean it's just crazy uh night high 20s low 30s next week 50s uh and 30s at night but i mean the grass is starting to come alive a little bit so you know the end of march probably third week fourth week into march somewhere around in there probably going to uh start mowing and so we got a got a gentleman here that you know wants a quote and uh so we're gonna go over here we're gonna give him a quote we're going to uh show you i mean look i, I can't express enough how much this crm software jobber has helped me grow my company it's just totally amazing to me how much quicker and more efficiently i get stuff done but we're going to go over here we're going to give this guy a quote i'm going to walk y'all through this on the the app and uh show you exactly you know what's going on as i'm doing it here you know, you'll see it on one of these sides something like that but uh season's coming and it, it's it's coming and i've already got four uh four flyer bed installs to do um or remakes and uh so i mean it's it's coming way quicker than than uh what you would think by all means i, I would have thought it would have been beginning of april you know toward the middle of april something like that as usual but it looks like it's going to start a couple weeks you know earlier this year maybe maybe even three weeks earlier for for me personally anyway and but i mean the the grass though look at that the grass is starting to, to green up some you still got a lot of a lot of dead uh by all means but it is not completely dead anymore it is actually starting to green up and that well and that is uh, a big thing so let me know how y'all season's going uh if you're in florida stuff like that i'm sure you, you probably never stopped mowing so uh you know if, if you're anywhere in the midwest or or north you know you're in ohio illinois indiana something like that kentucky whatever uh let me know what what's your what's your schedule looking like is it is it coming sooner than normal about the same what's that looking like uh <clears throat> let's get this going over here we're almost there so i'm going to get out i'm going to uh talk with this homeowner and then I will be back here in the truck. Hopefully we can get this property so I can show y'all this because if not, well, I got more estimates to give. So we will, uh, you know, we will see what happens. I mean, my minimum this year, 45 bucks starting out, small little properties, uh, you know, these cooker cookie cutter lawns, so they call them in and out uh maybe they got a fence if they got a fence well guess what the price goes up automatically on that if you ain't got a fence you got a small cookie cutter then uh you know the price is 45 bucks this year that's just the way it is and uh yeah so let's let's get going here we are pulling in the driveway and so i will see y'all soon and we'll see what happens with this so stay tuned all right we are back and uh so not only are we going to weekly mow this but we were talking about the flyer beds and stuff because the mulch is pretty much disappeared and so he was talking about you know his wife was talking about wanting to do rock in that area anyway and so uh i got a quote together for them i, I sent them you know a quote for this and that way they could accept that and then once they accept that then hey we'll get you on the schedule and we can go from there so i'm going to show you all how i do that now with the jobber out here so what we're going to do is we're going to screen record this so you can see what's going on and we are going to open our jobber app all right so we got our jobber app open and now we're going to go to add 
and we're going to go to, to quote and we're going to pick our client so we're going to add our client and we're going to pick just a random client here okay Bob Lanier is who we're going to choose because I've already sent this gentleman the, the quote, but I'm just showing y'all how easy this is. I mean, once you've added the client, which literally takes less than uh, two minutes, um, standing there in front of them, so it's it's not time wasting at all. His address, you know, for Bob's going to come up. Job title, we're going to name that weekly lawn and flower bed uh, install okay done then we're going to go to line items we're going to go to uh, what we're going to go to lawn care here and we're going to go to well there's trim hedges so we'll add this and then we're just going to there's that save line item for that and then we're going to add another one here and we are going to add one so we're going to go to the add at the top service name is going to be somebody's at my house <clears throat> flower bed description we're going to remove all shrubs and fabric and install new fabric and rock boom all right now the unit price so this is where it really helps to know your numbers because i've told him that to remove all of this stuff right here is going to be 225 dollars then you're looking at the cost of what rock is so if you don't know then you can you know call somebody on your way but if you've did rock before then you know uh recently then you know what the cost of it's going to be for you know for you to go get it and everything else so we're going to add 250 dollars to that so we're at 475 dollars so 475 now we can do it a couple different ways here you could always go to um well for the unit price you don't want to do that anyway we're just going to save the line item because i can i can delete that later but we're going to go to <clears throat> we're going to add we're going to have to add the unit price for that actually save line item that way it adds up that plus the uh, weekly lawn care then for the client message <clears throat> you could go in there and you could put uh actually everything that you talked about okay to to pull all of this out and remove it all and dispose of it is you know 225 and then uh you know you could do a line item breakdown um if you wanted to so uh, the flower bed i could i've did a totally different way on here if i wanted but as you see how quick that went it's it's crazy safe quote okay then we're going to review and send this. So this is a preview of what your quote's going to look like. It's going to tell him exactly. Lawn care is going to be this much. Flower bed to remove all shrubs and fabric. Install new fabric and rock. 475 subtotal. You know, this quote is valid for the next 30 days after which the values, you know, you can send this by text message or by email. We're going to go ahead and send this by email. Send email. And now once that comes up we're going to go in here and we're going to show you what this exactly looks like so this is a quote here it is right here i mean look at this this looks so professional on your part that how could they not accept it i mean if you've if you can talk to these clients like they're somebody and treat them like they're somebody and and you know point out things as you're going around the property to make them you know think oh man this guy's like you know he he notices this and yeah we were just talking about that actually more business you're going to you know possibly get so 
Uh, the quote, and then it's got the message. Hey, Bob Lanier, thank you for asking for a quote on your project. The total is, you know, if you have any questions or concerns, then they can view the quote. So let's click on that. View the quote. We're going to open it with Safari. Then, boom, we're going to open it. And here it is. I mean, you know, it's a waiting response. Now, they can re approve this or they can request changes on this. They can download it. They can do whatever. So, I mean, this is just a, a great way for you to get and look professional for your clients. I mean, it, it really, truly is. And uh, <coughs> I love it. I love it, okay? There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I love using it. Now, there's three three different plans, I believe. Uh, the most, <coughs> the best plan, uh, unless you've got crews and all kinds of stuff, is probably the Connect plan. So anyway, you could check that out. If that's something you decide, I mean, look, you get a free trial, guys. Season's coming. It's it's here. I mean, it's not coming. It's it's here. Go check out this software. See if it's something that's right for you. There's different things out there, but until you have used something that's so professional, they've got the money to to enhance and make things better uh, on their part. You know, they're not out trying to get this and that and whatever the case may be uh, to to make a software better. They they've got all of that to do that with. So. You know, you don't have to worry about, oh, I want this. and I, Because they've already got it, probably. And, uh, you know, I, I love everything you can do with this. <clears throat> Period. Point blank. It's just so great. So awesome. I can't tell you enough, really. Um, you're lucky you only get it, you know, once a month. I'll probably end up telling you in, in more videos, especially once season starts. Because then we've got a lot of stuff coming through. Uh, that I'll, I'll be able to show you way more on because this software, like I said, it, it's something you literally have to go and mess with and put your hands on before you go, wow, this is so much simpler than, you know, other things out there. So anyway, uh, links down below if you want to try the 14-day free trial, things like that, go for it. You also get 20% off your first six months if this is something that you're you're looking to do. I mean, look, I, once again, last time I'm going to say it, it's helped me a ton, at least last time I'm going to say it in this video. Uh, it's helped me so much. You don't know how much a CRM can help you until you get that good CRM. <clears throat> so, okay, enough of that. All right, back to, uh, you know, I need to know something because uh, a lot of people have leaves still. that They have a lot of leaves on the ground. Is that something you charge for? Or are you doing like, you know, hey, when you go to mow, uh, you know, hey, oh, yeah, are y'all going to mulch these leaves up? Uh, you know, do you give them different options? Uh, yeah, we, we can mow them around. Uh, we can remove them from the property. Uh, what options do you give clients to, because that property had had quite a bit of leaves on the property just to have two trees in the yard uh, but there's there's quite a few leaves there and so you know is, is that something that I mean just let me know how y'all go about that uh, do you even say anything do you just start mowing it and you know make it look good since they're a new client I mean how, how do you go about personally doing that I'm still learning in this business year by year day by day I, I'm still learning and the more I can learn then the more I feel I can invest into giving y'all that experience uh, you know because I've been there I've done it and I've learned from it I'm not just talking about things that I've never done uh, because whoever Joe Schmo talked about it on a video like that's not how I work I won't to be able to give y'all real-time experiences or real-life experiences that's happened to me on my part. Ooh, it's starting to uh, sprinkle a little bit, like two drops on the windshield. Go figure. So, uh, <clears throat> season, man, I've, I've still got to get the, the blade sharpened on the mowers. I've got to uh, uh, get the trailer and make sure, uh, check the bearings and everything on it, the tire pressures, 
and get it cleaned and washed up even though I know it's you know going to rain on it probably but uh, I think image is a huge part in this business a lot of people don't wash their equipment uh, don't you know they're too busy they say they you know I mean there's lots of reasons why but personally I've always told myself I will never be that person because I honestly believe that image is uh, a lot for a company and if I can keep my stuff looking nice and you know sh then I feel that a, I don't know maybe I'm out of hand maybe I'm, I'm wrong I feel that a client goes oh well uh, hey you know he keeps his nice you know stuff nice and, and washed uh, every week or every couple weeks and you know keeps it maintained and so you know maybe that's a, a image of how the client sees my equipment to think that that's you know maybe that's how I'll take care of their property is you know they have no worries I, I don't know I, I have gained a client because of having clean equipment uh, I had a client call me two years ago and you know I've literally it was because of my clean equipment they personally told me that that's why uh, they they liked me as every week they seen me across the street I had nice equipment and I did a, a outstanding fabulous job you know hey I, so yes that will it gain you clients well it did me I'm not saying it will you but uh, you know <coughs> EDDM uh, Mellers, whatever you want to call them, give me some clues. I don't know how to go about advertising. I'm going to be honest, I really don't need to advertise. I've, I've pretty much got the clients that uh, I really don't have to, <clears throat> I don't need them uh, per se, unless I get a help. Uh, if I can get somebody to help me, then I could take on more properties by all means. But with what I've got now, I'm pretty much booked. And is that's a good thing, right? I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But, uh, you know, I, I don't have a clue. It's, there's so much to this industry that, you know, like I said, even after 15, 20 years, I still don't think I could learn everything I need to know about the business. There's always something somebody's going to say or do or or uh, have a different perspective on that's going to make you go, wow, why did I never think of that? But uh, it is what it is. So thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go, you know, uh, let me know down below. What do you think? I mean, I, I, I really appreciate any time you invest. Thanks for watching the video, investing your time to comment down below and help me out a little bit. I definitely appreciate it. Hopefully, some of my videos give you insight to help you out in some way, shape, or form another. So uh, that's going to do it for this one. Once again, I will see you in the next one.